What's up guys, how's everybody doing? I uh, want to kind of give a little bit of an update of what's going, what's all been going on. Um, first of all, um, the Murray 20 engine, I have not forgotten about it. I've been working on it a little bit since it's been raining and now it's... If there's any wind noise in this video, I apologize. It is blowing like a damn madman over here. So, yeah, but uh, let me show you what I've been doing. I got the that motor torn down. May, uh, mostly got the crankcase cover off and everything, camshafts, governor, uh, lifter things. Uh, and then I also got a little shelf for organization. There's the piston and all that good stuff that's all over there. Um, I've decided that... Um, I'm going to make this thing into like a cutaway motor because financially this thing is not, I mean, it's feasibly, um, you, you can make it run, but financially it's not. Now I can make this thing run, but it's, it would cost way more than the mower itself is worth. So we're just going to use it for demonstration purposes, really. But, uh... Yeah, and I've got uh, an update on the Dually Sears uh, real quick, but uh, I want to work. I got the axles on this transaxle. I got them all fixing and everything. I got the pulley back on it, ready to go in a future project, whatever I want to put it in. And rip, go for ripping it. Alright, to the, to the Dually Sears. Alright, so we are back here. Wait a second. What is that? What is that? Is that a spacer? Yeah, that's a spacer. Holy cow, that's strong. Um, this is an 8 inch rim, I believe, and I found these over um, at my grandfather's house. And I made spacers. Now, this was not my idea. I got this idea from uh, uh, the Chud 327 channel. Uh, he does a lot of stuff with this stuff, and uh, I kind of copied his idea. So I'm not taking any credit off of it. I'm just copying, and I'll I'll link his vi video to that down in the description. Go check him out. He's got a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty much, and uh, got these this brake light all mounted up. Got everything all working right. I've got to make me a bracket to go on here because the ground on this thing is kind of wishy-washy. So sometimes it'll light up and sometimes it won't. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all for that. As far as I can tell, put my, me an ammo box on here. And I got to change that front tire because that thing goes flat faster than anything I've ever heard. I've ever seen. So uh, yeah, let's... Go look at the uh, Mutt Marais. Someone's shooting out there. Uh, but yeah, here's the Mutt Marais in all of its glory. I did put it in here just to get out of the way for a little bit. Um, got some headlights on it. And I put me a custom license plate on there. And if you notice, there is a muffler right here. And I'll tell you the reason why I put a muffler on it. Well, modified muffler. I cut holes to make it a little bit louder. But if you can hear me, you know, this this tractor is has like a military base theme. And when you're in the military, you don't want something so obnoxiously loud because it will give away your position. And you don't want that. Well, kind of the same thing with this tractor. I wanted something with a little bit of a tone to it, you know, but not obnoxiously loud. Like the Dooley Sears is obnoxiously loud. But this thing, I wanted it to be kind of muffled, but have like a little bit of a tone to it. So that's why I did the exhaust the way I did the exhaust. But uh, yeah, um, kind of a standing at a uh, standstill right now. Um, I've, if you can see, And through there I had to take the um, the engine cover off uh, I found out 
uh, by trying to crank it over um, that the uh, magneta coil is bad so I'm waiting to get one of those but uh, yeah I mean, that's pretty much all that's been going on around here uh, just working on little stuff until something big comes along but uh, yeah if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up if you're stopping there for the first time please subscribe for more content got a lot of good stuff coming up and uh, yeah I'm out see you